Hi friends, thanks for joining me for story time. I have a great story for you and some of you might have read this book before or even seen the movie. That's right, it's called The Jungle Book. Have you ever heard of this? Yeah? Well, let's get into reading The Jungle Book and it says by Disney, so I bet it's gonna be really good. Many strange legends are told of the jungles of far off India. India is far, far away. They speak of Bagheera, the black panther, and Baloo, the bear. They tell of Ka, the sly python, and the lord of the jungle, the great tiger, Shere Khan. But of all these legends, none is so strange as the story of the small boy named Mowgli. There he is, right there. His name is Mowgli. A child left all alone in the jungle was found by Bagheera. The panther. Bagheera could not give the small helpless man cub care and nourishment. So he took the boy to the den of a wolf family and they had a bunch of cubs of their own. That is how it happened that Mowgli as the man cub came to be called and was raised among the wolves. Mowgli was raised by wolves. Here he is as a baby. There's the wolves. I bet those wolves were like, what? Mowgli had lived with the wolves for 10 years when the wolf pack called a meeting at Council Rock. As you know, said Akila, the leader of the pack, Shere Khan, the tiger, has returned. If he learns that our pack is harboring a man cub, danger will be doubled for all of our families. The man cub can no longer stay with the pack. Well, out of the shadows stepped Bagheera, the panther. Perhaps I can help, said Bagheera. I know a man village where he'll be safe. So it was arranged, and when the greenish light of the jungle morning slipped through the leaves, Bagheera and Mowgli set out. All day they walked, and when night fell, they slept on a high branch of a giant banyan tree. All this seemed like an adventure to Mowgli, but when he learned that he was to leave the jungle, he was horrified. I mean, I bet he was scared. No, cried Mowgli. I want to stay in the jungle. I'm not afraid. I can look out for myself, said Mowgli. He slipped down the length of the trailing vine and ran away. Here he is. He's taken off. Mowgli soon met a bumbling bear named Baloo. Baloo played games with Mowgli and taught him to live a life of ease. There were coconuts to crack and bananas to peel and sweet, juicy pawpaws to pick from jungle trees. A colonial Haiti, Hathi, colon, colonial Hathi? I don't know how to say that name. The proud old leader of the elephant herd tried to train young Mowgli in military drills as he led his troop trumpeting down the jungle trails. Mowgli was having so much fun in the jungle. So there's Baloo and there's General Happy, Haiti, I don't know. An elephant, big elephant. But the jungle was dangerous. 
sly old Ka, the python, would have loved to squeeze Mowgli tight in his coils. But Shere Khan, the tiger, was the real danger to Mowgli. That was because Shere Khan, like all tigers, had a hatred of mankind. That's Shere Khan, and that's Ka. Big snakes. You know I don't like snakes. You know. I've told you time and time again I don't like snakes. There were other dangers, too. One day, Baloo, the bear, and Mowgli were enjoying a dip in a jungle river, and suddenly down swooped a monkey. They snatched Mowgli from the water before Baloo knew what was happening. They tossed him through the air from hand to hand and swung away with him through the trees. Those monkeys were troublemakers. Oh my goodness, poor Mowgli. Off in the jungle, Bagheera heard Mowgli's cry and came with a leap and bound. The monkeys had carried him off, gasped Baloo. Bagheera and Baloo raced to the ruined city where the monkeys made their home. They found Mowgli, a prisoner of the monkey king. What? Teach me the secret of man's red fire, the monkey king ordered Mowgli, so I can be like you. It took quite a fight for Bagheera and Baloo to rescue Mowgli. That's the monkey king. I guess they wanted to learn how to make fire. Look, Mowgli, said Baloo, I gotta take you to the man village. But alas, the boy would not listen. He kicked up his heels and ran away again. This time, his wanderings led him to the high grass where Shere Khan lay waiting, smiling and hungry. When Mowgli caught sight of that tiger, Shere Khan, he asked, well, man cub, aren't you going to run? But Mowgli did not have the wisdom to be afraid. Why should I run? He asked, staring at Shere Khan as the tiger gathered himself to pounce. You don't scare me. That's what Mowgli said. He won't afraid. That foolish boy growled Bagheera, who had kept close just in time to hear Mowgli. Both Bagheera and Baloo flung themselves upon the Lord of the Jungle to save Mowgli once again. They were brave and strong, but the tiger was mighty. And he had lots of sharp teeth and claws. There was a flash of lightning and a dead tree nearby caught fire. Mowgli snatched a burning branch and tied it to Shere Khan's tail. The tiger, terrified, ran away. Mowgli was very pleased with himself as he strutted between two weary warriors. Bagheera and Baloo. There's the fire. A little later, Mowgli reached the man village. From ahead came a sound he did not know. He peeked through the bush. It was a song of a village girl who had come to fill her water jug. As he listened to the soft notes of her song, Mowgli felt that he must follow that girl. He crept up the path to the village, drawn by the girl and her song. He was following her. He liked her song. Baloo and Bagheera watched the boy's small figure as long as it could be seen. When Mowgli vanished inside the village gate, Bagheera sighed a deep sigh. It was bound to happen, he said. Mowgli is where he belongs now. So he really did go to the man village. He was back where he should have been. That was the Jungle Book, friends. I hope you enjoyed it. Come back next time for another story. See ya.